So good day, professional students. My name is Okola Wasiu Bola, and I'll be taking you to this question one on ICANN pass question. And this question was tested on ICANN May 2015. You see, on this question, you'll be exposed to a whole lot of consolidation adjustments, and you're going to learn a lot. Now, let's go straight to the point. When you are faced with a question like this in the exam, I always advise my students that the first thing they must do is for them to look at the requirements of the question. You need to know what the question asks you to do. That is the first thing you need to know. What am I supposed to do? And that's the first thing we are going to look at in this question. We will look on onto the requirement of this question. And the requirement of this question is that we were required to prepare a consolidated statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income for the year ended 31st October 2014. We were also required to prepare a consolidated statement of financial position as of 31st October 2014. We are also required to prepare a consolidated statement of changes in equity for the year ended 31st October 2014. And we were told to define that in accordance to IFRS 3 on business combination, we were asked that what is gain on bargain purchase. So that is the requirement of this question. So we know what we are supposed to do. After you have looked at the requirement of the question, the next is for you to now read through the question, which will constitute your first reading. You want to read through the question from A to Z. You know, reading through the question will give you an understanding of the structure of that question and will give you a sense of direction and point of note and items to note in that question. And that will be the second item or the second step we will take in solving this question. We are going to read through the question from the beginning to the end. So let's start reading the question. So the question states that Unitarization PLC is a successful Nigerian company which recently amended its object clause in the Memorandum of Association to include programs and activities that will promote national unity and encourage anti-terrorism compliance as part of its social responsibilities. The company therefore acquires 60% of the equity share capital of famous PLC, a widely known and successful advertising company, to propagate this mission. The summarized draft financial statement of the two companies are as follows. So we are given the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income for the year ended 31st October 2014. We were given that of unitarization PLC and we were given that of famous PLC and all figures are in millions. You need to be wary of this. So this is the statement starting from the revenue to the profit for the year. We're also given the, the statement of financial position. We were given the statement of financial position of unitarization as well as famous, which comprises, which comprises the asset, equity, and liabilities. So let's go on straight to the additional information. So they give us the additional information. The additional information one states that the shares of famous PLC were acquired on 1st May 2014 and the issue of shares was not recorded by unitarization PLC. We were also told that there is a cash in transit of 120 million due from unitarization PLC to famous PLC arising from intra-group trading. Additional information 3, we were told that the non-controlling interests are valued at full fair value by the parent company. And the fair value of the non-controlling interests 
in famous PLC. At the date of acquisition was valued at 3 million 540, 3 billion 540 million. And we're told that there is no goodwill in payment at the end of the year. Additional information four. It says the fair value of famous PLC assets were equal to the carrying amount at the acquisition date. Except for one equipment with a fair value of 1 billion 200 million over its carrying amount, which has a five year remaining life. And we're told that the straight line method was what? Was adopted or is adopted. And we're told that famous PLC has not effected the adjustment in the records. Additional information five says that the 60% of share capital of famous PLC acquired was settled through a share exchange. A share exchange of two shares in unitarization PLC for three shares in famous PLC. And we're given the market value of unitarization PLC at the date of acquisition to be 6 Naira per share. Additional information C states that in the post-acquisition period, Unitarization PLC bought goods from famous PLC amounting to 4 million, 4 billion 800 million. And we're told that famous PLC had made a markup on cost of 40% on the transaction. As at the year end, Unitarization PLC had sold part of these goods worth 3 billion 120 million. We were also told that famous PLC trade receivables at 31st October 2014 include 360 million due from unitarization PLC. However, the amount did not agree with the corresponding balance in unitarization PLC's trade payables ledger. And finally, we were told that we should assume that profit or loss accrue evenly over the period except otherwise stated. So we have read this question. Now, the next thing we are supposed to do is to now look at this question again, that is our second reading. Then during our second reading, we want to start picking the relevant points that would lead us into solving or preparing the consolidated statements. We are going to do that in the next video. So thank you very much, guys. See you in the next video.